Yeah, I think he's an example of a Nebraska kid that's walked on, earned his stripes, put in the work, and found himself in a really good place. And, and sometimes sticking to something as long as he had pays off in the end. So we, we appreciate his toughness and perseverance. How's the week been? I mean, just break down kind of how the experience has been for you guys out here. You know, I'll be honest, I was really concerned coming over um, just because you, you can't anticipate everything. The guys that planned this did an unbelievable job, and our players have handled it really well. Um, so it, it's it's been unbelievable. I think it's been a good experience for our players, but they're dialed in and ready to play, and they're doing a really good job of enjoying things when they need to enjoy it, and then focusing when they need to focus, which is a sign of maturity. And uh, we've had a really good time. Does it feel like? I mean, did it feel like it's going to be a football game in a couple of days? Did it take a couple of days to maybe get the guys to to move away from travel and just focus on Northwestern? Not really. I think the way we travel was smart, um, and it's probably not the only way to do it, but we got here at 10 a.m. and brought them straight to the stadium and got their mind back on football and exercised them, and then we kept them up doing things all day. That was a really long two days kind of into one, and when they woke up the next day, we were right back at meetings and, and football. Um, so it kind of felt like a smooth transition straight back to football over here, and the guys are locked in. Yeah, I think it's good. You know, I've been out on the stadium field yet here, but it's definitely windier outside than it is in. And this seems like a pretty controlled environment, so uh, I, don't, I don't anticipate any big problems. What Kim said yesterday about the defense, I, I want to see if, if they're what I think they are. Um, he was referring to the defense. When you think about what your offense could be, what, is, what, are you, what, are you, what have you seen in camp and what do you hope to see on Saturday? I just want to see efficiency. I know I sound like a broken record with that, but it really doesn't matter what offense you're running. If you run it well, it can work. And the key to that is just operating with efficiency and speed. Um, I've seen that from these guys. They definitely know what they're doing. Uh, we've rehearsed it more times than we would for a normal game, and, and the guys are confident. So uh, my message to the team was they're ready to just go out and attack. But I, I really want to see that kind of mindset. Um, not playing tight, not worrying about anything, just going out and getting after them. Is there anything in particular you're looking forward to on game day, during during the game, not having that headset, or, or not calling plays, I guess? Uh, looking forward to, no, I'd say it, it's more uh, concern. It's just something I haven't done for a long time, but I've already thinking a lot about the, the other things that I can add uh, if I don't have my head buried in a call sheet. Yeah. Um, so it, it'll be a different experience for me, but everybody else is going to be doing exactly what they've always done and what they're good at. So uh, I'm going to trust that and try to help where I can with more than one face. What offensive one coaches face. will be in the box for you? We're, we're still discussing that. Um, Whip wants to call the, the game from the field, so I imagine most of our full-time guys will be down. What's maybe a thing that you're, you're looking forward to add on Saturday that you weren't able to do before? Uh, I'll, I'll be able to go over and help with the special team as they're taking the field, help make some of those decisions, uh, be able to watch the game more on both sides of the ball. Um, you see things from the field, but again, if you're not having to think 100% about the next play call, particularly as fast as we went, I'll be able to watch the defense a lot more, uh, maybe help Chins by watching some of the things they're doing on offense. And, um, you know, we've done a good job, of, I think, of managing clock and doing things like that, but I'll definitely have more time for that as well. We've kind of gone over this territory already back home. So we kind of had a lead up to the game before we left and another lead up to the game here. Uh, the guys have a couple more tours today. Um, then we got meetings tonight. Tomorrow's really focused on games. We have our Fast Friday tomorrow and it'll, it'll feel just like an away game at a hotel then for the rest of the day tomorrow. Um, pretty much the haze in the barn. Uh, I think we're ready, so we're looking forward to it. Yeah, we had a good time last night. Uh, they had one of their best practices yesterday. Uh, we got on the bus and went to dinner. At, they saw some traditional Irish music and some traditional Irish dancing. I think some of the old coaches like me were the only ones that knew some of the lyrics to the songs. Uh, but they really got into it, enjoyed it. 
Um, this is a tight knit group, and I think they're going to be there for each other all year, and it's going to be fun to watch. You know, only two guys got to dance. Um, Borkerture and uh, Va both danced. I know for sure Va is an Irish. I don't know about Bork. Uh, they held their own. If back to special teams for a second, we focus so much on the punter and the kicker, but the return teams too and, and needed to an improvement. How have you seen those guys work over the last month or so? Yeah, you know, I think we have more speed than we've had. and guys that are better at catching the ball uh, so we have a lot of options back there um, you know, we didn't create many big plays last year on special teams um, had some big plays against us two or three times that cost us uh, in general I, I think we got to be more uh, aggressive and in tune to making plays that can change the game on defense and special teams and um, I think the guys are are ready to do that Scott Sam asked you about uh, what you want to see on offense what do you pay what do you want to see in the opener from that unit in particular? Uh, I, I know what kind of defense we have. So um, I think the big question for me right now is if anything goes bad, how are we going to react? And we got a confident team, uh, a really close-knit team. Uh, we haven't hit any adversity yet, but when we do, I want to make sure that they keep attacking. Up, up 40, down 40, up 7, down 7. We need to be on the attack. And... Uh, our defense is dialed in. They know their calls. They know where they're supposed to be. They communicate well. They play hard. Um, I'm anxious to watch them. All good? Yeah. Thanks, All right. Scott. Thank yep. Thank you. Thank you.